So having shown passive movements for stretching the forearm flexors uh, and extensors, particularly with regards to the conditions of lateral and medial epicondylitis, if we take the flexors first and ask Jade to actively extend the wrist and then to turn the hand so that she's going further into supination, hopefully she will be feeling that in that area there where the origins of the flexors are and that active stretch will help maintain that flexibility. If this were the forearm extensors and a lateral epicondylitis problem, we would flex the wrist and then turn further into pronation and once again should be felt particularly along this region um, to get that stretch there.